Good morning, Morgan, and good morning to any of Morgan's friends that have joined us for today's video. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about performance measurements. And what they mean when they say that is how long does it take for a certain bit of code to run? All right. And that's what this example is here. All right. Is, uh, hey, uh, we run the timer this this time using these parameters and it's this, you know, a half a second to run. And if we change the uh, uh, the parameters a little bit, oh, look, it runs a little faster. OK, now um, <clears throat> and then it talks a little bit more about some other libraries uh, that you can use. Now. <clears throat> We don't need to dig too deep into this. You just need to know that this is something that you have the ability to do. They talk about the time in a little bit, but we are also going to need to know the profile and the p-stats too, eventually. But don't worry about that now. Just understand the concept of performance ma uh, management. You don't have to understand how to do it right now. With that said, here's something a little bit interesting. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going to the library, time it, and we're in porting the timer method right or function and these <clears throat> we have two uh this little um uh, i guess what are they uh, a tuple here there's a one tuple here that has three members and there's a second tuple here right and then here is uh it looks like they're just inputting one one no let's see how many little uh there's the one asterisk there and there's another one here okay so there are two different uh parameters and they're in the quotes right so this is the first one this is the second one this is the first one see how it's different than the other one and the second one is pretty much the same okay but that little bit of change makes this whatever code work fast but this is what's interesting the timer is calling the time at library. It's calling back to the library. Okay, so that's kind of interesting, don't you think? Uh, <clears throat> the uh, method in the time at library is calling the time at library. Okay, and why it's doing that, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's how a, it tests the code. You put the, uh, uh, the method at the end that you want to test or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we're learning this together, so what we'll have to do is when the time is right and we start to have to worry about performance uh, measurements, we're going to have to come back to this question and figure it out. All right, well, with that said, uh, let's go and deal with the boring part. Performance measurement. Some Python users develop a deep interest in knowing the relative performance of different approaches to the same problem. Python provides a measurement tool that answers those questions immediately. For example, it may be tempting to use the tuple packing and unpacking feature instead of the traditional approach to swapping arguments. The timeite module quickly demonstrates a modest performance advantage. All right. It does. All right, I guess it does. In contrast to timeite's fine level of granularity, the profile and Stats modules provide tools for identifying time-critical sections in larger blocks of code. Okay, there's a hit. So you're going to want to use this. You use the time it for little bits of code, and you use the uh, profile and the p-stats for larger bits of code. All right. And here we are in the sample code, and I've just you know, throwing some print statements in there to give us a better idea of what the uh, output is and what we were expecting it to be. And, you know, what's there to talk about? We already know what it's talking about. The, the second time it runs, it's a little bit faster. With that said, let's verify that. And the only way to do that is to run. So I'm going to click the little start button, and it's going to do its chuggy, chuggy, chuggy thing. And, oh, it didn't blow up. All right, then. Well, let's go ahead and let's take uh, a look at the output and uh, see if it's what we were expecting. <clears throat> and here we are in the output. But it's not what we were expecting, was it? 
because it looks like whatever it was that was run that was, they were running on his machine, my machine is much more powerful and can do it much faster because on this machine it only took a little more than a tenth of a second, whereas this thing took almost six tenths of a second. And then when I got even better, I got it under a tenth of a second in the second run, and it's still over half a second. So what does this tell us? It tells us that I have a better PC than whoever wrote this code. <laughs> and that's it. Go have fun. Don't get any trouble. And we'll see you in the next video.